Hey what's up folks, in this project we're making a light up hat with Bluetooth controlled NeoPixels. We took this on our recent trip to Disney and just floored the cast members and park goers. This is a really fun project for folks just getting started with electronics. In this video, we'll show you how to add a NeoPixel strip to your hat and wire up the electronics. You can remotely control NeoPixels using the Blue Fruit LE app for iOS or Android. In this project, we'll use the color picker and the control pad to trigger different animations. You can also use an Apple Watch to remotely control the NeoPixels from your wrist. This can be really handy for those times you can't pull out your phone. The Adafruit Blue Fruit NRF52840 has everything you need to add BLE to your projects. Adafruit CircuitPython is built for beginners looking to program microcontrollers and hardware. With CircuitPython.org, you can quickly get your board up and running. Getting started is easy. Control NeoPixels with the BLE Connect app using the Blue Fruit library for CircuitPython. This uses the fancy LED library to create animations with different effects and color palettes. You can write Python code in the Moo editor and use the built-in serial console for debugging your code. Installing libraries and uploading code is as easy as dragging and dropping files onto a flash drive. We think this makes for great demo code for folks just getting started. Get the parts to build this project, links are in the description. Be sure to check out the learn guide for the code and files. We'll start by laying out our NeoPixel strip to figure out how many pixels we can fit on our hat. The number of pixels depends on the density of the strip. Here we're using a mini skinny NeoPixel strip with 90 pixels per meter. Mark where the strip will start and end by wrapping it over the front of the hat. Follow the arrow on the back of the strip to see where the first pixel begins. We can use wire cutters to cut across the pads on the strip. Be sure to count your pixels twice before cutting it down to size. Try to cut evenly across the pads so you can leave enough area for soldering wires. We won't be using the silicone sheathing so you can remove it. These crystals have no foil backing so they're great for adorning NeoPixels. Just a drop of super glue is all we need to bond the crystals, we just need to be precise with the placement. This makes the LEDs look more like rhinestones and less like LEDs. We'll use these 3-pin JST cables to connect the strip to the feather. These cables make it easy to connect and disconnect. You can cut the cable short and lay out the components to map out the circuit. Next we'll get started on wiring up the electronics. Using wire strippers, you can remove a bit of insulation from the tips of each wire. Then we'll add a bit of solder to tin the exposed wire. This prevents the strands of wire from fraying and it makes it easier to solder. Now we can attach the wires to the pads on the NeoPixel strip by soldering them in place. Third helping hands can help you keep those wires in place while soldering. Next we'll wire up the Adafruit feather. We'll solder the JST cable to ground, voltage, and any of the available data pins. Now the feather just needs a way to turn the circuit on and off. So we'll wire up a small slide switch to the ground and enable pins on the back of the board. You can use a bit of hot glue to secure the switch to the PCB. We can also use a bit of hot glue to insulate the exposed pins. This allows us to turn off the 3 volt regulator and still recharge a LiPo battery over USB. The battery plugs into the port on the side of the feather. With the code and libraries uploaded, we can plug in the NeoPixel strip and test out the circuit. The Adafruit feather and LiPo battery fits nicely inside the lining of the hat. Just unfold the flap and drop in the feather and battery. You can secure the electronics, but I kept them loose so I can quickly remove them if I need to. We'll create a small incision in the seam of the hat using a sharp hobby knife. To make the wiring more discreet, we'll need to fit the JST connector through this slit. You can use a seam ripper to create a cleaner opening. Cutting the fabric can leave frayed edges so you'll need to be careful. With the incision now large enough, we can insert the connector and pull the wiring through. I used hot glue to affix the NeoPixel strip to the front of my hat. My glue gun has a fine tip nozzle which I found to be really helpful. Press the strip onto the hat to make sure the glue has a good hold to the fabric. You want to be careful not to use too much glue or it may leave a stain on the outside. Otherwise I found this to work pretty well. The crystals appear really nice as is and look even better when the LEDs are on. And there you have it! That's how you can add NeoPixels to your hat and now you can control them with your phone or watch. Thanks so much for watching! Don't forget to subscribe for more projects from Adafruit.